Thank you, Madam President and colleagues. Oregon is one of the most abundant places on the planet. Our state possesses natural advantages other states can only dream of. We have nearly unlimited supplies of water while other states suffer routine drought. We have acres upon acres of arable land while other states are barren deserts. We have thick forests that can perpetually produce sustainable timber yields. We have a land capacity for industrial operations and numerous ports located on the Pacific Rim, the heartbeat of world commerce. Yet for years, the legislature has made decisions that have slowly abdicated these positions of strength. Our best assets are on the sidelines, and we have the economic and physical consequences to show for it. Chronically high unemployment and constant revenue shortfalls. But it doesn't have to be this way. Other states have learned to capitalize on their strengths by responsibly managing their natural resources. They are reaping the rewards. Montana has a $30 million surplus. North Dakota is giving $40 million back to the taxpayers, and Alaska has, a 40, has $40 billion in reserves. It is time that the legislature started taking responsibility for the future of Oregon. We can act to capture excess Columbia River water so farmers can turn eastern Oregon into an agricultural oasis. We can sustainably manage state timberland for maximum public benefit. We can unlock land so that our ports and future industries can grow and expand. Oregon has no excuse for economic mediocrity. If we put our natural strengths to work, we can again be a place that is recognized around the world as a leader in prosperity and success. It's not that many years ago, Madam President, that the rural parts of the state were shipping money to Portland. Now it's the other way around. The reason for that is we no longer cut trees. The reason for that is that we no longer allow the people in the eastern part of the state to utilize their abundant resources because we won't allow them the water they need. Colleagues, we talk about jobs all the time in this building, and yet we do nothing. It is time to change that.